Yes, I think it's been a very, uh, in very invigorating uh, experience. Um, as I believe many people have said before me, it's uh, one of the most remarkable things is uh, how much energy people come here with. I've, uh, I've seen people, uh, you know, spend many hours uh, negotiating with great, uh, great earnestness and real passion, and then. Uh, you, they're also the same guys that uh, you run into in the hostel at 2am. You're just heading to bed and they're just heading out on the town. The capacity to create uh, and frame an argument um, and bring together other people's arguments into a coherent framework very quickly, that's a kind of reflex which for me was, was quite challenging um, and I definitely will, will work on in my, in my spare time. And I think the other thing is also a capacity to um, uh, to sort of stay out of the argument and try and come in with a quick resolution. I um, I feel that a couple of times that was that was very useful. One thing which I was very um, interested to read about before coming was all the different strategies uh, put forward by the EU Commission about how to promote. Um, uh, democratic transition, stable transition in Tunisia and Egypt and in, in the wider Middle East, um, their whole strategy for promoting trade and um, trying to bring together um, countries into, um, very diverse countries into a, into a, um, into closer collaboration, not only with amongst themselves but also with the EU. I never lose the capacity to, to step back from the heated argument and try and see how you can reposition. Always try and remember that, broadly speaking, your principles are probably the same as the guys sitting around the table with you. It's just a question of finding a, a practical solution that, uh, that uh, fits in with everybody. But uh, go with the flow and be well prepared, I think. Try and get together a good team beforehand, but then once you're here, um, as again I believe has been say, stated many times before, um, kind of go with the flow.